In today's video, we're gonna be comparing the pulls from three pack blisters featuring Umbreon versus regular blister packs. So pick your side, get some food, and let's dive into this pack battle. Two quick announcements before we start opening packs. Number one, we are doing a Flareon V and Vaporeon V promo giveaway. So if you like either of these cards, check out the 10 opening videos I did on the channel. I'll leave them linked down below and answer the common question of the day, and I'll be announcing the winner in the next video. And in release news, the Pikachu Zekrom Gold Tag team box collection is now available at GameStop. I'll leave links in the description down below so you guys can pre-order one. I pre-ordered one. They limit you to one per customer. And if you like celebrations, GameStop Canada also just dropped the pre-order link for either the Charizard or a Sylveon. And for my American viewers, I don't know if it's out just yet, but again, all the important links to buy Pokemon cards are always in the description, along with places to buy the products that we're opening up today. So to start things off, we're going to check out this Umbreon 3-pack blister. This one got a slight delay in my order compared to all the other evolving skies stuff so they just came in and uh, the umbreon promo is really nice three booster packs one two three we got all evolutions so hopefully that means we have some good luck on our side here is the coin that is included code card for the promo online bam here is the umbreon three pack blister promo i gotta say it is really really good looking you got the moon in the background umbreon running away looking all majestic and stuff i don't know how playable this card is but it's definitely a card worth to collect in the binder with that said we are going to be giving one of these away in an upcoming video where i open up every single kind of blister pack for evolving skies so make sure you guys subscribe so you can enter that giveaway but the two i'm opening up today are going to be either my personal collection or my ebay store link down below let's start off with the first three pack blister and see what we are able to pull and then we're also going to open up three blister packs right after so let's start off with the first pack from the three pack blister and i like doing these videos to you know show you guys what you can potentially pull from these items typically the three pack blisters are like a big fan favorite like a lot of people really enjoy the three pack blisters you kind of are guaranteed not necessarily guaranteed but you kind of get like one hit per three pack blister and the hits that i get out of the blister packs typically seem to be really really nice like they're not a typical v card you usually end up with like a full art trainer or a uh, full art pokemon but our first pull of the day is a non holo Drampa. Right. Let's open up the regular blister pack, see what we get from this, and see who wins round number one of the pack battle. Now, if you guys don't know the rules for the pack battles, basically, the pack with the better uh, hit will win, but when it comes to like it being super close, we're gonna actually go to the competitive level and see which card would win in the actual fight. So we're just gonna go with basic HP, but if it's like a weakness versus a weakness, the one that is the weaker one, of course, due to weakness, will be the card that loses. So here we go. Second pack, this is from a regular blister pack. So let's see what we can get. We have a, ooh, a non holo goer sight. So in this case, we have uh, these two versus each other, and it looks like I'm gonna have to go with Team Vigoroth because it is a higher rarity than the common Eevee. So, because this is 120 HP, it's oh, oh shoot, because the uh, the non holo cards are both. Yeah, the both of these non-hollow cards are 120 HP, so it becomes a tie. So round one will go to regular blister pack. Round two, this is the second pack from the three pack blister. So let's see what we can get out of this one. One, two, three, four, and here we go. We have a fire energy, Vigoroth, that's uh, familiar, looking familiar. We got a Carvana, a Molga. I'm gonna go over here, a Slack Off, a Gossip Floor, Ooh, there we go. This a Lycanroc V ultra rare hit. So that's going to most likely be our one hit from the three pack blister. But let's see what we can get out of a regular blister up next. And of course, if you guys are enjoying the videos, want to ever hang out and uh, chill during some live streams, make sure you turn on notifications so you know when I go live because I'm going to do some live breaks soon. And I'm also thinking about uh, streaming some online uh, Pokemon cards or I'll be streaming on Twitch, which will be linked down below. This is the second pack from the uh, blister packs. Team Blister, here we go. What do we got? We have a Bird, Rug and Rolla, Wobbuffet, a Reverse Hollow, Vigoroth, a door opening in the background, and a Non-Hollow Pincer. So that means the score is 
1-1 with Team 3-Pack Blister getting the win with the Lycanroc V. And of course, before we do the final pack at the end of the video, I'll do a pull recap to show you guys what we ended up getting and what they were from. So here we go. This is the last pack from the 3-Pack Blister. So let's see what we can get. Ooh, we got a beautiful white code card. Love to see it. So let's just put that to the side. And one, two, three, four. Here we go. Metal Energy. Another energy, the Sylveon trainer card, love disc. We got a Chinchu, a reverse hollow. No, that's not reverse hollow, that's a dragon type. Reverse hollow C dots. And we have a Ooh, nice! Big hitter there. A Rayquaza V. Not only a very collectible card, but also a pretty competitive card as well. The Rayquaza V decks are really strong right now. So let's go for the last round of the uh, the first half of this video. This is Team Blister Pack, and let's see who we get to represent. Will it beat the Rayquaza V? I am very curious. But we got two hits. Two hits out of that three-pack blister. That is a W in my books. That is really, really good. So hopefully we didn't use all of our luck in the first half of that uh, the blisters. But here we go. This is Team Regular Blister. We have a Fighting Energy. We have the Hippo, big hippopotamus for Christmas. We got a Scraggy. Hippo again, another hippo. We got, I love Litleo. Litleo is from pretty dope art, I gotta say. We have a reverse hollow hit there, and will it be better than Rayquaza? Oh, we got a Volcarona V. But in this case, because it is hit versus hit, Rayquaza is the more valuable card. So we're gonna give the W to Rayquaza with the three pack blisters. So now the score is two to one. All right, you guys know how I do it. I always have a little halftime show in between the uh, the pack opening. So we have the battle styles to be our halftime show for today's battle. Let's open this up. And I was actually opening up a bunch of battle styles off uh, like off camera. I'll talk about it in a future vlog, but I got some crazy hits off camera. So you guys will want to see what amazing hits I got in the upcoming vlog where we either go to Walmart or Toys R Us. But here's a quick little battle styles for you guys. Little, little, little BS action. <laughs> Some BS action. We got Yamper, Lickitung. Dude, this Lickitung, I'm gonna read this card real quick. The bottom has a really weird uh, thing. It licks filth clean with its tongue. Whatever it licks always stinks afterwards. So whether it's really clean is questionable. So if a Lickitung licks you, you're gonna be stanky. Did you know? Well, now you know. Now you know Lickitung has a nasty, nasty uh, smell to his saliva. All right, Battle Styles, a Hollow Rare Kingdra. Let's get back to the main attraction. Three pack blisters versus regular blisters. And we're gonna start off with the uh, Umbreon side again for round number four. So let's just pop this open and I'll be right back. There's our promo coin once again. One of you guys can redeem this code card. I gotta say an absolutely beautiful card. I hopefully can give this to one of you guys. Round four, let's go. These are the packs from the blister pack. We got two, oh no, we got a good mixture right there. So let's start off with the Rayquaza and see what we can get. Again, the current score is currently two to one for team three pack blister. So let's go for round number four. We have a grass energy, lantern, Ursa ring, who is very, very upset. Teddy Ursa, who is the opposite, complete opposite. What happened in Teddy Ursa's life to make uh, Ursa ring so angry when it grew up? Vagon and a Appleton? Yeah, an Appleton. Looks like our better hit is honestly the Vagon. The Vagon's kind of nice, but let's see what we get out of the blister pack up next, the regular blister pack. And again, if you guys are looking to buy uh, singles, I'm gonna be listing a bunch of singles on my eBay store later tonight. I've been procrastinating on it, so expect a Pokemon card restock on my eBay store and also if you guys just want to buy a sealed product I'll leave links down below to places where you guys can cop some and I have a promo code at some of the places so you can get a small discount so here we go grass energy Ursa ring a crustle we have a flower we have rock and roll a Psyduck real breaking Nate right there another C dot a hollow rare reverse hollow snow leaf badge and Ooh, a Seismitoad. So 170 HP is going to beat Appleton for sure with 90. So we're gonna give that round to team regular Blister, which means the current score is now two to two. Let's open up the next pack from the three pack Blister. And uh, 
honestly, the three pack blisters, I really enjoy because those promos are always really nice that they have included. But one thing I've noticed is that the Umbreon three pack blister is more expensive than the ISQ or ISQ one. So if you guys want to get a three pack blister that's on the cheaper end, this guy right here has his own three pack blister and it's like five or eight dollars less typically than the Umbreon because Umbreon is expensive. You know, Umbreon is a very collectible Pokemon card. So it makes sense that those are a bit on the more expensive side. A Litleo and a, a Gorgeist, a Gorgeist. Let's see what we get out of this pack right here. I hope we don't, we're not gonna get a tie. It's a 6v6, so I don't think we're gonna get a tie. But if it comes down to a tie, uh, you guys will have to be the judge and you guys will just have to tell me, you know, which you like more. Do you like buying the regular blister packs or do you guys prefer buying three pack blisters? But uh, let's see if we can get an official winner today. So here we go, Team Blister Pack with the supporter card, a Skip Loom, a Litleo, Eevee. Oh, I got a bunch of cards that are gonna be some good bonuses to throw in some orders. We got a Shift Tree, Reverse Hollow Rare. Ooh, that's gonna be a hitter. That's a big hitter right there. And a Drampa the Grandpa. So in this case, because uh, Drampa ties with Gory Guys for HP, we're gonna go with these two, Shift Tree versus Litleo, and a Hollow Rare, or sorry, Reverse Hollow Rare, always more valuable than a Hollow Common. So we're gonna go with Team Blister Pack with the shift tree right there. So now the score is, oh my gosh, it is close. All right, so I believe the score is currently 3-2. If I'm wrong, I'll have it on screen right now. I should have kept track better in my head or just wrote it down, but here we go. This is the final round of the video. We have three pack blister Durladon versus three pack bli or regular blister pack Durladon. Let's open up this right here. And uh, again, make sure you guys enter. Ooh, that's gonna be rough. I can see it now. We got a green code card, so we're just gonna run through this pack real quick. Not looking too nice. Not looking too nice, boys and girls. A Mareep and Charpedo. All right, so Mareep and Charpedo are gonna represent that three pack blister. And it looks like we got zero hits out of that three pack blister. None. So we got Mareep and Charpedo repping for the last round. The score is 3 2. Now we got Blister Pack right here. Let's see what we can get. And out of the blister packs, out of the uh, five packs so far, we just have one hit, the Volcarona V. So let's get something out of this Umbreon pack right here. Pretty, pretty pleased. I don't want to see the code card. I'm like, uh, I'm like resisting the urge to see the code card. So I get a real natural reaction for you. Oh, wait, oh, there we go. Oh no, that's not the, I, I, <laughs> I opened it wrong. So there you go. There's a code card. And then it's dinner time, so I gotta wrap up this video. One, two, three, four. Last pack magic. And actually, before we get to this final pack, I'm gonna quickly show you guys the three hits we got so far. We have the Volcarona V from the Blister Pack. We got Rayquaza and Lycanroc. So let's get to this final pack right here. And make sure you guys hit that like button down below and comment who you guys think won today. Oh, oh, well, I just totally took out the hollow as the card. Why did I why did I do it like that? Bruh. That means Dialga Hollow is our hit and that is gonna be better than whatever we got the last time. So that means this is going to be a tie battle, three to three. But technically, we only got one nice hit out of the blister packs and we got two hits out of the three pack blisters. So overall, I'm gonna give the crown to the three pack blister team. But with that said, I hopefully will catch you guys in the next video. I'll leave the evolution tin openings in the description and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.